What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm starting a new reaction series to 1000 Suns, which is a brand new science fiction short film anthology. It was produced by Black Milk Studios, um, it just came out, and I'm very excited for this. Those of you who know me through the channel know that I am a big lover of film, science fiction, and just concept art and production design in general, so I feel like there's a lot for me here. I found out about this show through a Twitter account that I follow called The Space Shipper. Um, which is a fantastic account and really helps me keep my finger on the pulse of all things sci-fi related. Um, give them a follow if you're not already. So the first six episodes of the show are already out. It's called A Thousand Suns. I don't really know too much about this other than the fact that it's an anthology of sci-fi short films. It was produced by Black Milk Studio. We have a description here. It says, Introducing A Thousand Suns, a mind-bending science fiction anthology series of short stories that explores visions of humanity's future, shaped by the actions of our world today a gateway to our hopes, dreams, and nightmares. Created by McGregor, A Thousand Sons brings together the creative talents of filmmakers Ruary Robinson, Tyson Wade Johnston, Tim Hyten, and Philip Gillette to create this first season, offering a glimpse into our hopes, dreams, and nightmares again. This is the first episode. It is called Ice, and it was directed by Ruary Robinson, written by Phil Gillette and Ruary Robinson, and the cinematography was done by McGregor. Okay, and the synopsis for this episode is An advanced scout is sent to probe the frigid expanse of a distant world for signs of life as a candidate for planetary terraforming. Okay. I like what I'm hearing so far. This sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. One other cool thing about this project is that A Thousand Suns is actually available in its entirety for free on YouTube. Um, so follow the link in the description of the video. I really recommend watching the short film before you watch my reaction because I'm going to talk all over this bitch. I feel like it's always a good idea to have seen the reference footage before the reaction starts, um, but that's just my preference. All right, well, I'm pretty excited to get this going. You know me. I love a good original sci-fi. Um, so without further ado, A Thousand Suns, Episode 1, Ice. All right, Black Milk Studio, show me what you got. Whoa. Oh, sick. Starting off great. Look at this ship. So this is our exploratory vehicle, looking for worlds to terraform. Oh, that's cool. It, like, folds on the sides. I love ships, man. Look at this crazy atmosphere. The wind is all insane. Kepler 22B terraforming scout. Orbital life scan completed. Results inconclusive. Okay, well, <laughs> that means there's life out here. Sorry, I can't hear you. sec. Yeah, that's better. Nice. Handheld scanner. Did he have to activate like a noise canceling Point thing in his? No signs of life found. So the scans were inconclusive. They have to, like, make definitively sure there's no life on the planet before they begin the yeah, terraforming, well, probably. Nice and peaceful. This place is perfect. It's dead. Dead like God forgot he ever created it. That's a beautiful shot. Dead, but... They were dreaming of a better world. More of a holiday home in the sun. And a 20% share. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, now. Waypoint nine clear. Oh, look at the cockpit. No signs of life found. This is really cool. I really like the design of his suit, too, you know? It doesn't look super comfortable, but it looks like someone who's like very suited to be in deep space. Oh, life confirmed. Damn, dude, you're not even going to scan it? That was pretty brutal, actually. Now you're scanning. <laughs> oh, another one. They got little tentacle faces. Targets acquired. Oh, whoa. Jesus! 
So he paints targets, and then from from orbit, they just wow. Those were those were tiny creatures too. That's some pretty accurate fire. No signs of life found. Um. Oh shit! Oh shit! You just killed its babies. Oh! Uh, <laughs> what have you done? Please move around, obstacle. <laughs> Well, oh god, it's Cthulhu! Fucking shoot him from space! Oh my god. Hey boy. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work! Oh! Wow! Short and sweet. Ruary Robinson, director. This was fantastic. I really wasn't sure what to expect, but this this was a classy production. Man, the production values were there. The I loved the designs of, of the costumes, the ship itself, the effects, um, the creature design. It was very like Cthulhu inspired, wasn't it? Yeah, that was great. Um, this feels like such a treat. I had no idea that this was even coming out, and now I've already got six episodes to dive into of this thing. Um, yeah, this was really cool. It, it, it kind of plays on the, you know, the arrogance of mankind that we, we assume that every planet out there can be for us, you know, and, and what we consider to be life is, is, is really taken for granted. Like, he killed those little creatures, no, no evidence of life. It's like, are you kidding me, man? That was life right there that you were stepping on. And then, you know, the mega, the mega fauna arrives and, uh. Yeah, if this is if this is the sort of the sort of thing to expect from the rest of these shorts, and I am all in, man. This was this was fantastic. Again, follow the link in the description of the video and watch the original stories. There are six of them already out, with a million more well on the way. So, catch up, get ahead of me. Stay tuned for the next reactions. They'll be dropping once a week right here on the channel. Yeah, this is fun, man. This really this really tickles the, the my inner sci-fi nerd, and I love I love finding new sci-fi to watch and to just like pour over the details and the concepts and and. We've got a whole bunch of this. So this really feels like a present for me in, in a lot of ways. Hats off to everyone involved in this. This is this is clearly going to be a classy production moving forward, and I'm I'm on board. This was cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this. Are you excited for more episodes of this? What did you think of the reaction? I'd love to hear from you. Man, there are some really creative, fantastic science fiction projects out there today, especially with like the production values that are available. Um, even independent projects look fantastic. And so much of it flies under the radar in favor of other more mainstream projects like a new Dune movie, a new Star Wars movie, like, you know, these franchises. And I really feel like this is a critically underappreciated genre in and of itself. Sci-fi really needs to get a lot more love. I think we're moving in that direction artistically a lot. Science fiction projects do seem to receive more praise than they used to. It used to be relegated completely to, like, the cult category, but um, even so, projects like this deserve even more of a spotlight to be on them, so... I'm happy to do my part to give them a signal boost. Please watch the rest of this show and then come back here and watch my reactions. We're going to have a great time nerding out over some A-plus sci-fi shorts. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will catch you in the next one.